Hi, so in this video we're going to be talking about reflection of shapes in the y-axis. Okay, so in this video uh, we're going to look at reflection of shapes in the y-axis. In the previous one we looked at them in the x-axis. Now as you're uh, aware this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So the typical kind of question you're going to get um, at high school maths, it'll say something like reflect shape A in the line y equals minus 4. Okay, so there's a couple of things you need to do. Firstly, you need to make sure that you're really accurate with your drawing. Secondly, you need to establish where y equals minus 4. Well, as I did in the previous video, I'm going to use the same technique. The whole idea is that you just plot some random points on the graph, some random coordinates where y equals minus 4. Okay, then you join them up, draw the line, and you're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to say 1 minus 4, and I'm going to say... Um, 4 minus 4, okay, and then I'm also going to say something like um, minus 3 minus 4. And in all of these cases, y equals minus 4, okay? So if I plot those points and then join them up, I've then got the line, the mirror line that I'm looking for. Okay, so the first one is 1 minus 4, come along 1 down to minus 4, let's call it about there, uh, 4 minus 4, along to 4, down minus 4, about there, and minus 3 minus 4, about there. Okay, so when I join those points up, which I'm going to do in a minute or two, that will give me the mirror line that they want me to reflect the shape in. Okay, so this is the line where y equals minus 4, uh, because what I've done is plotted these coordinates and joined up the line. And then it's just a case of making sure that I reflect accurately. And the way to reflect accurately is to make sure that all of the points of the shape are perpendicular to the mirror line. What I mean by that is this, that it is tempting just to kind of look at that and imagine what it's going to be like if this is the mirror. Okay, well, um, that can work, but sometimes it's not always that accurate. So the best way of doing it is to just simply pick a point and work out how many space it is, it is between the point and the mirror line. So let's say, in this particular case, it's, let's say, four spaces away. So we count down one, two, three, four. Actually, it's going to be a bit more than four, isn't it? Let's say six spaces away. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then six spaces the other day will give me uh, the other side will give me a point there, and we do that with this point as well. Okay, uh, so again, six spaces away, and what we're doing is we're creating a mirror image which is an equal amount each side of the mirror line, and what I end up getting is something a bit like this. So this should be now quite accurate because each of these points is an equal point away or an equal distance away from the mirror line. And providing you plot it relatively accurately using that idea of just a point by point, so points there and then point there and point there, point there and point there, then it should work for you very, very well. Um, and usually to finish the question off, it'll say label it B or something like that. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. Please do like, add a comment, subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.